That's number 18, Ben Baugh, along with number 81, Dylan Sparks. Number 50, that's Will Dilhay. And number seven, Davin Dial. Anthony, I'll let you call off those Oakland guys. And then on Oakland, from what we can see, I got 58 offensive lineman Branson Boone, 55 offensive lineman Chad Thad Chapman, 78 defensive lineman Stephen Turner, and we've got one more. It's 31. That's Blake Spencer, the defensive tackle. Throwing himself. probably had to deal with this year. Ball now on the 24 yard line. Here we go. They got Brevin Linnell in there. Makes that pitch, gives it to Jerron Rooks. Rooks looking for a seam up to the 15 yard line. It's gonna be close on that first day. The 16 yard line, Timmy Goodrich gonna line up right up underneath the center. He's got Mookie in there at that fullback. Goodrich keeps it himself going a toward the right side. He's tackled really quick by Michael Scavo, number 15. And boy, right Hard count, try to get him to jump as well. There's that familiar blacktop smell coming through here at Cookville Stadium. We got that last week, one of the factories putting off some fumes. What do they do? Mookie. Mookie right up the gut and into the end zone. You trust the big man. How the backyard brawl is going to is going to decide whether whether or not who, they're going to get a home game in the playoffs. That's that's going to be the deciding factor in 5-6-A. Leonard's the snapper. Linnell's the holder. Sears is your kicker on this PAT. Boom. How many does that make, Anthony? With that PAT right there, Aaron Sears continues his TSSAA state record for point after attempts made in a... Yeah, David Gish played a big part in that win last week against Blackman. He's a kid that if he gets if he gets into open field, can do some damage. Short kick. Gish got it. Up to about the 25, 26, 27. Still on his feet. He's going to get up to about the 32-yard line where he's slammed to the earth. Chance of getting a turnover is throwing the football pick one off. Kate Smith out of that shotgun from the 32 yard line trips to the top of your screen. He's looking, pumps once, he's in trouble. He's gonna get swallowed up. It just it just wasn't there. They uh, they try to fake the screen and hit 18. Wants to get the ball, do just what he does. Use a lot of clock, grind it out. And you know, if you give them a big play, as Ty Nix always said, they're gonna take it. But if not, they're just gonna stick to their game plan. Exactly. Oh, special teams, special teams, punt blocked. Going into the end zone, who is it? That's number three, Locklayer. Locklayer has had a couple of special toadies guys in the house. Yeah, and last week we saw, you know, the long snapper take, takes him a little bit of time to get that ball back there. So you load the box, send pressure, things like that can happen. Absolutely. That's a, that's a good job of film study by that Oakland staff. Leonard Linnell Sears. How many does that make again, one, Anthony? That's 171 right there. All righty. Sam, you got some scores for us. Uh, yes. Uh, Blackman's jumped out on Stewart's Creek, nine to nothing. For Matt Williams and the Bulldogs. Brevin Linnell is the quarterback now for the Oakland Patriots. He'll operate up underneath that center. That's Jefferson. Jefferson up to the 40, to the 35, still moving his feet. He's up to the 49-yard line and moves it into Cookville territory. What a beautiful run by Jefferson. Able to keep his legs churning right right now. If Oakland's able to put any sort of points on the board right now, it makes it three scores, puts you in a real bad spot. Ball on the 33. That's Timmy Goodrich operating out of the shotgun. Brings Rooks up to that right side. 
and he, he keeps it himself. Pulls it from the belly of Rooks. Timmy Goodrich with good vision gets a first down, brings it up to about the 19 yard line. Get it down to the second 23, the official. Timmy Goodrich operating out of that shotgun. Set up a swing screen. pass to Ron Rooks on that left side. Rooks. Oh, ball squirts out. Somebody's on I it. I think Cookville's got it. Cookville's got it. A very, very. Well, they got Scavo in there. Cade Smith. Cade looking downfield, trying to pass. Swings it to Scavo. Scavo up to the 20. Up to about the 23-yard line. Pushed out of bounds by them. Check down to the running back. A good play right there. Well, he's going to operate out of that shotgun. It goes right back to Michael Scavo, up to the 30, up to the 35, up to the 37-yard line. Scavo just carrying it. Tackle made by number 14. That's Cameron Good. Gets to the right. Fakes it to Giss. Across the middle, number seven, Davin Dial. Be Just said it while ago, the 6-4, something a long three. I look for Cade Smith to take it himself. He's taken it a couple of times. Just his tendency, Anthony, he wants the football himself, kind of like a Larry Bird. Let's see what happens. Cade Smith keeps it himself. What did I tell you? He's going to the end zone. Touchdown. Cade Smith, touchdown. Coastville. Initially, look like the he's we're going to see Oakland throwing the football, try to get that two-possession game back. Beautiful crowd here tonight at Jelly, at Jelly Watson Stadium. PAT attempt in order, the left-handed kicker. Boom. He's worried about him kicking it, Coach. Yeah. Must have through the back good of the extra end point right there. That left-handed kicker's got a – He's got this two timeouts to work with, throw Brevin Linnell out there. I think that they're very much going to try and throw the football, get that two-possession lead back. He's going to run his two-minute drill. That's what he's going to do. Exactly. Oh, nice move. Look at here. Up to the Jefferson. 50. Justin Jefferson up to the 40, to the 35, to the 30. Up to the 25. And that extra five yards having to kick the football off again makes a big difference. Uh, if, that's, if that's where everybody's set up, that's exactly what you want to try to do. It gives you options. Everybody stays in their lanes, picks up their blocks. It's a good job by Jefferson. Timmy Goodrich operates out of the shotgun. He keeps it himself and brings it to this right side up to the 20, up to the 15, up to the 11. Tackle made by number 32, Ben Loftus. They bring Brevin Linnell in, number two. Rooks is lined up in that right slot. Jefferson down here by us, along with Woody Washington. Washington and Jefferson, he's looking for one of them. Linnell, what's he doing? Cuts back across the middle, keeps it himself. I think trying he got to get in the end zone. zone. Oh, they mark him at the goal line. It was close. Wow, what a beautiful keeper. His two receivers were cut, covered up. He cuts back, pull him, and they run with Timmy Goodrich. They give it to Jerron Rooks. Jerron Rooks just walks right into the end zone. Touchdown, Rooks, touchdown. They get a touchdown from a blocked punt. This touchdown is set up by a long kick return. That's, you know, you take both of those away, we got a tie ball game right now. Leonard, Linnell, Sears. How many does that make again? 172. So, like I said, that's going to make it a 14-point deficit between Jimmy Maynard and getting closer to trying to get uh, uh. out into the into the uh, into the flat to fake the screen to him to try to freeze that Oakland defense. But they're sending pressure off the that top of the screen side for you folks and make the play. Third and seven from the 23. Giss rolling to, towards our side. Gets his feet all bottled up, but not before number seven. Michael Bond wraps him up for a loss and a sack. Just got to give it to that Oakland O-line. Give him, show him a little bit of love. Back to Jerron Rooks. Rooks 
up the middle, up to about their 40-yard line, almost to the 38. Quickly tackled by number 18, Ben Ball. They get it outside right there and get a good chunk of yards. Creasy will stick with Timmy Goodrich, and he operates from underneath the center back to Jerron Rooks. Rooks looking on the left. He's quickly wrapped up at just the line of scrimmage by number 43, Sam Oldham. Cade Washington operating out of the shotgun. Oh, he's unbottled with a snap. He's got it. Continue to move the ball just like this. We're going to be in for a heck of a fourth quarter. Scalvo to the right. Cade Smith back to Scalvo. Scalvo with a big, big hole. Up to the 40, up to the 38 of Oakland. Number 36 was right there. Jimmy Maynard style. Scavo to the right. Riverdale did beat Cookville on a last second play tip to Savion Davis. That was about three weeks ago. Screen to Hicks. Hicks. Look at Hicks. Hicks going to the end zone. Touchdown. Cookville. Touchdown. Hicks. The athleticism get into that little sliver of light to get into the end zone. A great play right there by Jarquez Hicks. We got a seven point ball game, kids. We're going to have a heck of a fourth quarter on our hands with about 40 seconds left. Let's go to Sam Montgomery for some scores. All right, we're in the third quarter, and Seagull's now up on third and a big five. It's big down for Kevin Creasy. And they got Brevin Linnell in, the guy Might that throw likes the their football. thrower. They got their thrower. Linnell keeping it. And they got Linnell. They got him. They got him on the ground for a sack. Number 54 comes up off the bottom. Connor Wright, the big senior. And even with that penalty, we haven't seen a whole lot of hankies fly here tonight. Both no. of these teams playing very D disciplined football. Yep. Gist to the left. Pulls it from the belly against Cade White. It goes to the ground. Cade Smith goes to the ground. Number 36 was there on the 27. Third and 12. We're going to have to get a second level pass yep, here. Yep, we're going to have to air it out right here. Scavo to the left. Hicks is at the top of the screen. Inter oh. Intercepted. Intercepted. Tech Coy Randolph on the pick right there. Yards away from making this a two possession game again in the fourth quarter. And who are you talking about right before the start of the game? What a good looking kid to Coy Randolph is, the junior. We go back to Jerron Rooks on that right side, spinning up to the 10, up to the 9, up to the 8, up to the 5. Oh, and that second effort right there. Doesn't get contact until he gets to the 10-yard line. Gets a yard carry there. J.P. Bush on the stop. They go right back to Jerron Rooks. Rooks into the end zone. Touchdown, Rooks. Touchdown, Oakland Patriots. Just like we said. And you feel the gravity of this place just gets sucked out of the air. Absolutely. Leonard, Linnell, Sears. All three are good. That's going to make it 28-14. Sam, you got some scores for me. I sure I do. Uh, we've got uh, Blackman's pulling away now from Stewart. He'll be live at the Inferno for the Backyard Brawl. And, yeah, the, both the way that Riverdale and Blackman have played tonight, it's shaping up to be a good one. Right now, Kate Smith gets it out to Hicks. Hicks on that far side. Jefferson forces him out of What's going on right here. Kate Smith from the shotgun. Fake it to Scavo. Rolling to this side. He's in There's trouble. And slung to the ground to Keo Randolph. We talked about him before the start of the game. What did we say? He's a good looking nail out, trying to put it right through that coffin. Ball marked on the 42 yard line, and here we go. From the shotgun. What do they do? That's Jerron Rooks. Rooks, Rooks out of Wildcat. <laughs> That offense um, consistent, hard runner, He's always going able right to back make to him. Happen. Rooks with the football out of the shotgun. Who's he hand off to? Oh, Jefferson. Jefferson. Touchdown, Jefferson. Touchdown, Oakland Patriots. But they're able to pull away. 
um, here, here at the end when it mattered. They make the big plays. And we said on the way over, we felt like Cookville could hang for three quarters, but that fourth quarter, that's, that's you know, having enough juice to stay with them. Sam, you got a score for me? I do. It's the end of the third, and it's Franklin 31. Sideline. Cookville takes a lot of time to just get set. Yeah, and right now it's it's got to be snapping the football quick. You've got to get up to the line, get your call in, and go. Fakes it to McAllister, completes it across the middle. I like number 20, Tucker Scott. Absolutely. You know, they're, they're going to come out of it as a... Uh, you root, what you do is you root for Blackman next week if you then come out and take care of business. Oh, and who went back there? You know who that is. Big Blake Spencer went back there in the back. Just gets one side of the ball and for Coach Creasy. You know, we've got Warren County next week at home. If you pick up the W there, they're the number one team in the state heading into the playoffs. And the greatest thing about that is you're going to be at home all the way to state. So if they, if they make it that far, they're going to get Mar they're going to get Maryville at Ray Hughes Stadium. And uh, you know, uh, 20 ticks left. Maybe this will be the last play, kids. Spinoza is going to get the first down on the keeper, and that's... Well, they're going to stop the clock and then start the clock. They're going to wait till the chain moves officially. Ron Goodner will crank that right arm and fire that clock. That's just what he does. That's it. All righty, kids, and the cannon fires signifying the game has come to an end here at Ed Watson Stadium. Well, 35-14, Oakland a big winner. So uh, right now, what's your synopsis of the game? Well, coming into it, uh, you know, just like Coach Creasy was saying before the game, I fully expected a fight all the way up until the end. And that, that's what we got, you know. Uh, going late into that fourth quarter, Cookville ran out of gas, but they continue.